One of the biggest issues of the 2013 session is the expansion of Medicaid as a result of o the passage of Obamacare. You have one of the big plans re responding to that hit the high points of, of your plan. Well, thank you very much. First of all, we decided that it's not in the best interest of the state of Florida to expand under the options given by the federal government. So we decided and thought, well, what could we do? What could we say yes to, to reach out to those that don't have insurance? How would we begin to do that? Uh, we've looked at a couple different options. One is creating a voucher program, but there also, there was limited support for that. We actually came up with a program that uses state money that doesn't have the, uh, the strings attached to the federal government money that, that could come down. And I've said, it's not just strings attached to the federal money, it's, it's iron chains attached to the federal money. So what could we do to, uh, to further that cause? And we've came up with a plan, we called it Plan C because Plan A and B didn't work out so well, so Plan C really just partners with the individual that says, if you'll go out and buy a policy, we'll pay half of it. So who are the people your plan would cover? I know that uh, I've read that there are, you know, depending on how you define the federal poly, uh, poverty level or how, how many people you cover under that, uh, it, the cohort can be from 900,000 people to somewhere under that. How many people would your plan cover? My plan, well, it would apply to a population of 700, approximately 760,000. Now, the way the Affordable Care Act works or Obamacare works, if a state chooses not to participate in Medicaid, those individuals that are 100% of poverty level and above to 138% would receive a subsidy directly from the federal government to go to an exchange and purchase health insurance. So, so those folks are gonna be covered. They'll have great insurance, it's limited out-of-pocket expense, and they'll do well. So we were looking at those that are 100% under the poverty level, 100% and under of the federal poverty level. And they would be covered by the state of Florida, essentially. Well, they would have to show a little bit of initiative themselves by purchasing a, pro a, a, a a policy themselves. If they did that, if they came forward and said, I want to participate in the, uh, in the Healthy Florida program that, that we've dubbed our plan, then we would, we would pay half their premium. We would pay half their premium. We've identified uh, some limited basic coverage policies. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that typical healthcare does, but it does include going to a doctor. It does include going to the pharmacy and getting a prescription. That's a big deal, and that's what a lot of folks want. So these folks that would typically go to the emergency room for coverage and have to beg and plead for drugs would finally be able to have a, uh, a family doctor that they could go and see and prescribe to and then go to the, the pharmacy and, and get, a, get a prescription should they need it. It doesn't include hospitalization, but yet we have other programs that, we've, uh, that we pay for, the state of Florida, that pays for a safety net that pays for hospitals to cover uh, folks that otherwise don't have access to hospitals. So we use that basis for their hospitalization plan and then use the basic coverage plan to get them to see their doctor. Again, it's a, it's a mild cost and we would pay approximately half of it, but they would have to have a little tiny skin in the game.